There is nobody up here but me. Where are you at, Brian? Good morning, my friends. How are you doing? You having a good Saturday? Saturday for you guys, Friday for me right now. So I am up at the Mod Garage right now. I'm hanging out waiting for Brian. Brian's supposed to be here at some point. Don't know when. Uh, but we're picking up our ARP case bolts for the new engine. Uh, and I'm also knocking out a couple smaller things on one of these 05 STIs that I'm working on in here. Just throwing like radiator hoses on there, like cob, coolant overflow, small, small things like that. Since I'm up here, I can't really finish these cars that I'm working on right now because I'm still waiting on like small parts, mainly just injector O-rings. Like if you've ever installed a set of like injector dynamics, you know that sometimes those little O-rings rip on them and then it just pees fuel everywhere. So now we're waiting on replacement O-rings to come in because I, ri I, me, ripped one of the lower O-ring injectors, but it, whatever, it's not the end of the world. So pretty excited for that. And then after this, I want to show you guys the vision for this because a lot of you guys, as soon as you saw the wing, you're like, no, hell no, that thing looks ugly as hell. I promise, trust the process and the car is going to look so good. I am going to change all of your guys' minds with how this car is going to look. Everyone's saying, don't cut it up, don't cut it up, don't cut it up. Let me show you. This thing looks way better in like on film than it does in person. Like to give you guys like a rough idea of how like annoying some of this stuff is, there's hell appealing paint right there on the hood scoop. The entire rear bumper back here is scuffed up. There is spider webbing on the bumper. I don't really know how well that's gonna show up, but the entire top of the bumper up here is just all spider webbed. Uh, whatever dealership I bought this from, so they backed it up into something and just spider webbed the whole bumper. This fender right here is like completely chooched in over here. There's cracking paint all along the bottom of this. There's missing paint in the back. You guys are saying, hey, don't cut it up. It's such a clean blah blah. It's such a clean blah blah. There's so, like, there's a dent right there, 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 there. I can see all these dents. This car is not as clean as you guys think it is. And when you see it in person, it's, it's gonna look so much better than it does now. I promise, just trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Yes, it looks a little out of place now. I guess I'm gonna go call Brian a hundred times and try to get him down here. Look who finally decided to show up. Wrap your trunk, dude. It's too blue while the rest of the car is gray. It's like the same color as the 17 STI. You're late, you got those case bolts, you got the goods. Yeah, you bring those ARP goodness? Yeah. You got them? They're in the, in the shop. They're in the shop? Oh. So we got the case bolts. Ooh, but they're such good looking bolts. Oh, very nice. Dude, look how f***ing shiny that is. Those are some expensive bolts right there that hold a Subaru engine together, but hey, one less thing that we need for the engine build. Don't get too comfy over there. You gotta help me push a car over here. Okay. Burst of energy. Oh. Ah. We're good. I'm so winded. I'm so out of shape. Pushing cars is not for me. Woo! Now that we've got this thing in here, let me run through, throw these radiator hoses on my gaskets, a couple small things in the car. Then we'll jet back down to the house and go test fit the wheels on with the wing and everything. So I can show you guys the vision, the plan of what's gonna happen, I'm so out of breath. Woo. I was so close, so close to having this 05 STI done. I have everything mechanically 100% to go. Main reason I swung up here, like I said, grab some bolts, get this thing taken care of, ready to go. It's done, mechanically speaking, but we have the wrong access port for it. We have 02 to 05 WX, which is a 16-bit ECU uh, versus this one, so. Waiting game till the access port shows up. Time to swing back down to the house, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the, the vision. The vision, it's going to come to life. You're gonna see it, you're gonna like it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, you're gonna want some more of it. Nerd. So I have found the Achilles heel of Karma, which we're gonna fix in the rebuild. I don't know how yet, but we're gonna fix it. Uh, the cooling system, it's hot. Like it's 100 to 110 degrees next couple days, just driving normal. Coolant temps were like, one, uh, like 208 to 210. If I were getting on the car, they'd shoot up to like 212-ish and didn't really wanna push the car past that, so. 
Good to note for the next iteration of the engine build stuff is a cooling system. Let's pay more attention to that next time. Anyways, let me show you guys the vision. The vision, plus I want to see it because I'm, I just want to like envision it. I'm going to do this in Photoshop, make it look like all cool for the thumbnail. So when the thumbnail you guys see, it's probably me like, ugh, ugh. I, just, I can't wait. I'm going to throw the wheels on the car. We're going to get some stuff mocked up. How do I take my bumper off as well? Bumper, we're going to get you free as well. Look at that. It takes me like 60 seconds to take this bumper off. Look at that. Bumper's off. Ugh, ugh. Oh, dude, these things are super sticky smelling. I hope that song gets stuck in your head now from uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Ooh, I got the 20 millimeter spacers on here, so we gotta take those off. As the whole car creaks. Oh my god, dude, that sticks out so far. I don't remember it sticking out so far. Oh, let's go try the rears. Oh my God, it doesn't touch the fenders. Oh my God. I don't know how that's wow. Wow. That's that's what's up. Yo, I'm actually impressed. These 18 by 11s clear the fenders at the height it's at right now. Just Barely, just barely, but it, they both clear. Oh, I'm gonna, I wanna pull it out of the garage to see what it looks like. I only have these two wheels on. I'm literally only driving right out there. Uh, so I'm not too concerned with like the all wheel drive system or anything like that. I'm literally going like five feet. Look at that. She already looking better in my opinion with the wheels on there and the wang. Oof. Oh yes, dude. I am all about it right now. That looks so much better than the BBS wheels. Like just from right here, imagine it, but imagine it with flares, a rear diffuser and the side skirts. We're not done mocking stuff up yet, but you guys, this looks so much better with the, with these wheels on there compared to those. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love those stock BBS wheels, but those Ankies, oh, and the silver Brimbos, like, come on, you guys, that looks so good. And then with flares on the car, with it being wrapped yellow, oh, we're not done mocking stuff up yet. This looks so good, though. I am, all right, I'm actually starting to like the wing when I see it with the Ankies and the silver Brimbos. Like, it is, it's coming together. It's coming together. Oh, I, I just need the flares. I ordered the flares. So for anyone who is like has a GD model and you're looking for flares or anything like that, Carlton Fender flares are the flares that I ordered. Carlton was originally making these flares in like what, like 06 to like 2011, something like that, and then he stopped doing it. And then the flare molds were, they like he refused to sell the flare molds. And then the molds got sold to someone else called Subi Flares. Subi Flares is who I had to order mine through. Now, they originally told me two to three weeks on the flares, but it's been five weeks now. I'm getting a little impatient. I'm getting a little impatient, Subi Flares. Then again, I'm just an impatient person in general because I want to see them on the car. And I want to see the car yellow. And I just can't wait! Ah! I haven't really moved from the spot. It's going to look so good when it's done. I genuinely can't wait. It's a process of building a car. Nothing happens overnight. But I am genuinely so excited how this car is going to look because I've spent so much time and so much effort and so much money and just fixing the, the just the stupid things with the car that wouldn't get it to run or wouldn't get it to like work properly. And now I get to focus on actually making it look the way I want it to. And I know it looks a little dumb right now, but in my mind, all I can do is envision what it's going to look like when it's done. And I, I, I cannot wait. I literally just cannot wait. Melanie talked me into getting a rear diffuser, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bite the bullet and order that for this car. But just seeing it with the wheels on gets me gets me so much more excited. It makes the wing feel a lot more fitting, and I know the wing will feel a lot more fitting once there's a rear diffuser on there. Once the side skirts come in and it's wrapped, oh, that yellow's gonna look pristine. Let me roll this thing back in the garage, and we are not done mocking stuff up yet. 
we got more stuff to mock up on here. So I went ahead and just threw all four wheels on there just so I could see what it looks like. And I am absolutely loving it from like this angle right up here. Just seeing the car with the tires like that. Ooh, that gets me excited. So now, now that we have this back on the ground, back in the garage, I need to get that bumper set back up there like temporarily because obviously I've put the other wheels back on so I can drive the car. Uh, but I want to get this mocked up. So we have an APR splitter as well. Yes, for everyone out there who's questioning it, this will not be mounted to the bumper. So... Don't even, don't question that. Don't worry about that. Today, I'm gonna order some quick disconnects that end up going from this and they'll mount up to the H-frame right here. So they're gonna be bolted up to the H-frame on quick disconnects. Um, the splitter is gonna be built so that way you can actually stand on it. It's actually functional and it's not some like bolted onto the bumper where it's gonna fall off if you step on it, rip on it or anything like that. For the splitter rods on that one, because it did come with some of them in that bag right there, we're gonna make some brackets that come off of this uh, intercooler crash bar right here and then come down to the side so that way it is actually bolted up to the frame. No, we're not gonna do this the easy, cheap way of just bolting it up to a bumper. We're gonna do it the right way. But let me get this bumper on so that way we can get that mocked up. On the bright side, this bumper goes on very easily. It goes on just as easy as it came off. Which is nice. Cinder blocks. Same thing over here. Slide them down there. I need you to go up. Just like that. I need something to prop up the front of it. So I bought a lip for this, but I don't even know if I'm gonna use it because after actually seeing the splitter mocked up, like it's just like hanging out down there right now, I think it looks perfectly fine without having a lip on it. Like the whole point of the lip would be an air dam, but having it like mounted like that, like that looks good. I don't know, we got so many options. We got so many options with the splitter and everything. The wing definitely fits better. I'm gonna get some canards ordered. We'll have the flares. We have the side skirt extensions. We'll have the splitter, the wing. Oh, I love this. After seeing the wheels, the front splitter, and imagining all the other stuff that's gonna be going on the car as it's coming in and shipping to us, the flares, uh, the side skirt extensions, all of that stuff, the canards, the rear, the rear thing, the rear diffuser, it's really gonna tie the car together for me, I think. Um, that's the beauty with cars, like, I like it. I drive the car every day. If it's something aesthetically pleasing that I like, so be it, you guys don't have to drive the car every day, so. That's the beauty of cars. You build it how you want it, not to how other people want it. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people in YouTube get caught up with, is that they build the car how other people want them instead of building it for themselves. And I'm always gonna build my cars for myself, so it's the way it is. It's just the way it is. So with those ARP case half bolts, um, all we need now is the short block back from out front, and then we can assemble our new short block. I'm excited. I was reading a lot of stuff on the forums and people were saying that they've been able to touch 600 on the FP Black. Uh, I'm gonna full send that turbo all the way to the moon to see how much power we can squeeze out of this thing. I think on pump gas, we're gonna be able to make just under 500. I'm guessing around like 470 to 480 on pump gas. And then on E85, I think we're gonna be around like, I think reliably we'll be about 580 to 585. And I think pushing it will be able to hit six. So excited. For what's about to happen the radium dual fuel pumps gonna be going in on Sunday I think Sunday cuz USPS has my wiring out for delivery um, as of tomorrow which is today for you guys so Saturday so the wiring is out for delivery so we can get that dual fuel pump put in there's no two needed to be able to swap fuel pumps so I'm excited I am extremely ecstatic um, with just getting all this stuff mocked up. I'm gonna leave it on the car so that way I can show Matt later because I know Matt's gonna love it also but anyways that's all I got for you guys on this one I wanted to show you guys the vision that I have in mind and hopefully it helps give a little bit more clarity to everything that's going on with this car. I'm building it the way I want it because I drive it every day. Anyways, like I said, this is all I got for you guys on this one. So if you liked the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button, turn black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you wanna be, you know the drill. One of these corners, no idea which one I'll put it in quite yet. Color of the day is actually going to be gray because there's a little bit of gray in that carbon fiber right there. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.